Edgen is in a, quite a unique space at the moment because of the type of projects that we're doing. And really, we want to be working on projects that are adding value to society and helping the planet. VG&E is a multidisciplinary consulting business. We've been around for about 52 years. We operate in Australia and we also have offices in New Zealand and in Asia and also in London and the Middle East. We work on large infrastructure projects, large buildings. We're branched out into most of the disciplines that sort of relate to structural and, and civil. Technical excellence has always been the backbone of bg and &E. That's what we've thrived on. That's what's won us work in the past. But now in the last sort of 10 to 14 years, we've been able to leverage a lot of our digital efficiencies and build that into our design workflows. Making sure we're on that journey in that technology space is really important for us. Having the technology where you can work remotely and still work efficiently is really important. Throwing up models on a video conference and communicating that way is sort of now seen as an addition to having a face-to-face -face meeting. Really trying to educate the client and give them a real understanding of what we're producing for them. And now what we're finding is that the rest of the industry is sort of playing catch up, but we're really best in class in that space and it's given us a big competitive edge with a lot of our clients. In 2008, BGE were awarded the contracts for civil and structural engineering design for Fiona Sunny Hospital, and a decision was then made that we would proceed with using Revit on it. And the team all went on an intensive uh, one week course. And to be honest, having training with a big job in front of you is the perfect time to have training. All we hoped to achieve was more robust documentation, and from there, we realised how important it was to be able to pull as much information as possibly could from the Revit models and it's a lot more about data management. If we haven't got data management down pat, it makes it very difficult to exploit those technologies that are going to sit on top of that high quality data. Moving into the 3D world, it's allowed us to be more accurate, being able to bring more resources onto projects, working off the cloud where we can pull resources from other offices and more collaborative with our other stakeholders on projects. Helping with visualisation, understanding clash detections, simulation. And to guide the wider design team through the process utilising tools such as Revit, Civil 3D, making full use of BIM 360. Having Autodesk Construction Cloud come along and then basically being able to work on the same model at the same time allowed us to throw as many people on a project as possible. On a project in Parramatta Square, it was a 50-storey tower. We had a really complex outrigger system. So we came up with a way of running two teams simultaneously and we were able to shave about three months off the construction program. Keycorder Towers is a project that involves an adaptive reuse of an existing 51-storey building in the middle of Sydney. One third of the existing floor plate was demolished all the way down to ground and we grafted on an additional floor plate to essentially double the existing floor plate. The project itself involved a reduction of tonnes of carbon. The Revit was the main collaborator and all that was all done in Autodesk Cloud. Probably delivered out of Sydney, but we had engineers and drafters working out of our Brisbane and our Melbourne office and our Perth office. We've always been trying to collaborate and share information between different teams. I mean, it's what we do as, as human beings. We, we're sharing information so we can learn from each other and store it. The ease with which we can create so much information nowadays is the challenge. So we're winning larger projects now because we're trying to bring in a lot more people with various different skill sets, various different software experiences. That's allowed to us to pick up more scope. So it allows us to move into more of a one-stop shop type of approach. We're not just known as structural or civil engineers. We've got a lot more to offer now.